All right, hi guys. I am here today with a little bit of a more complicated project to do. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make a tassel and then you can put it on an earring, you can put it on keychains, you can put it on like the end of like a zipper for your jacket. Um, so I did one already and we're going to make the match to this today. Um, so what you need is three different colors of embroidery floss or friendship string. Um, some scissors, a ruler, some pliers, and then if you're doing an earring, you'll need like a jump ring and a little earring hook, um, or you'll need like a keychain ring, um, something to attach your tassel to. So, and you'll also need a little piece of cardboard. So this piece of cardboard's about two and a half inches in length, and we're going to use that to measure out our first color, which is going to be the main part of the tassel. So I'm going to take my first color, and that's the part that is like the tassel -y bit, the loose bit. And loosely, because I want to be able to get it off the cardboard, I'm going to wrap it around this. And I'm wrapping it 20 times, 15 and 20. And then I'm just going to very carefully slide that off while keeping my separate loops and I can cut this little extra bit off here at the end and then I'm going to take and cut one side open so that I now have a longer bunch of threads so that's what I want for my tassel so I'm going to set that down and I'm going to grab my next color. So you start on one side, go toward the middle, and then work back around to the other side and bring it together. So I'm going to grab this light gray color next. And for this, you're going to want about two feet of your string. So measure it out and then you can cut it. And that will give you some extra room to work with. So you will end up cutting off some extra, but you won't have to work with your whole, um, the whole thing of the embroidery floss. And then this part can be a little bit tricky. You want to sort of eyeball the middle and then go just off center from the middle. And so from right here, I'm going to tie that around. And this is the tricky part because you need either really dexterous hands or just patience. Um, and both can be difficult. So <laughs> and I'm going to tie that again and make it a knot. Okay, so this is going to be the top and I'm going to be working downward. So if you think of this like a friendship bracelet, you can use a clip or some tape or something and attach this to something that's not going to move. Um, I'm just going to put it right on my water bottle and then put the lid on my water bottle. And that will hold it in place for me. Okay. But what you want to do is think of this like a friendship bracelet. And I'm going to make a four. Well, that might be backwards for you. Make a four and then wrap it around behind and then bring the end through that loop there. Okay. And then you want to pull that until it's nice and tight. And you're going to do that 10 times total. Um, so, and they're nice and tight and they're nice and close together. All right, so now I'm going to take my other color, the part that's in the middle of the top, and do the same thing. I'm going to tie that on too. This one you need less of, um, so about a foot is more than enough. So measure it and then cut it. Okay. 
and then you can set that off to the side and it's out of the way. So same thing, you're gonna tie it on. Try that again. Okay, so I tied it so it's right up against that gray color. And I'm going to do that same knot that I just did over here. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do that for 10 times. Okay, so I've done nine, and then when I get to 10, I'm going to take my jump ring, and I'm going to put it on my string that I'm tying my knots with. Mm -mm. Okay, and then I'm just going to continue making my knot. So I've got the jump ring there. I'm going to make a knot. But when I pull it tight, that jump ring is now attached. Okay. So then 10 more knots. So I've got my second 10 done. So now I've got my jump ring in the middle there. What I'm going to do is take this long gray string and then do 10 more. So I've got gray, pink, gray. Done with that, I'm going to take this apart. And now we're going to bend it around so that those two parts come together. Okay, and you wanna kinda of pinch it. Okay, and then you're gonna do a wrap around and tie a knot. You wanna pull it nice and tight so that it holds it. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to do another 10 of those knots. So 10 is a pretty easy number to keep track of without losing count. Okay, so when you get done and you've done your 10 knots and you're ready to finish this off, I like to take just any other string, so like this and this one's easy to see, so I'm going to grab that and just tie these two into a knot, and that will help keep it coming from, or keep it from coming undone. Okay, so now you've got sort of all uneven at the bottom. That's fine. Just take your scissors. And give it a little trim. If you cut it crooked, that's fine. Just trim it again. So now you've got your tassel with a jump ring on it. It is ready to go onto your keychain ring, onto your earring hook, onto whatever you want to do. So for this part, you're going to need some pliers and you're just going to take your jump ring, hold one side of it with your finger or another pair of pliers if you have two pairs, and then take your pliers and hold the other side of it. And you just want to twist. Um, let me see. I do have another pair of pliers. It's a little bit easier to hold the metal with two pairs of pliers. Okay. Okay, so you just want to twist it to open it. And then you put your thing on and you close it. 
by twisting back the other way. And that keeps your jump ring nice and round. And then you are all set. You have an earring or a keychain. If you do two of them, you have a pair of earrings and you can wear them wherever you'd like. So they're kind of fun springtime. Oh, I have my headphone in. Kind of fun springtime earrings to wear. So that is that project. It is a little bit harder. It does take a little bit longer. Um, so it's going to take some patience, but I believe you can do it and I'd love to see how they turn out. Bye.